Hey guys, hope that you're all doing well. Welcome back. Let's play some more EU4. We are Lothringia. And we are wrapping this up. Um, since I have a little bit of time, I think we just do this. It'll hurt our absolutism. Ugh. Let's embrace that. Let's uh get a couple of extra guys over here. Let's see here. So... I'm just a little concerned about the coalition. It's probably gonna fire, and there's not really much I can do about it firing. Give him a level 8 on his capital. Let's get a level 8 over there. There we go. How's Brandenburg looking on the march front? Kingdom of Italy. You can just be a siege focus. So he's got 31,000 men. Yeah, more people are gonna join our coalition. Yeah. This is just kind of a thing. I have to deal with it. So let's see here. Let's build up the force limit then. We're less likely to get attacked if we just have a big chunky army. Let's see if we can find any other friends as well. We're at our limit, but Russia... Okay, let's actually ally Russia then. Let's see here. He's got some trust for me. There we go. Alright, so let's have you guys come on over here into the farmlands in Verona. We'll have you guys protect over here. Did he increase the autonomy? Why is the autonomy so high? Oh, it's going down really fast though. Truce with Brandenburg is over. He hasn't joined the coalition, so let's do that. Let's get you guys over there. As soon as we finish coring this up, we're going to give the land all to him. The land is much better off in his hands than it is in mine. There we go, Mary of Lotharingia. And we have Clovis, our heir. <laughs> Mary of Lotharingia, starting as Burgundy, form Lotharingia, have a female ruler named Marie. And we do. Very good. So, Poland is in this war. Um, doesn't mean anything because Poland is pretty worthless. Let's get another general. Let's get a couple generals. I would like a general who's not bad, please. There we go. Let's get those guys off his forts. Very good. Let's get these guys over onto Plock. And I want the longest truce I can possibly get with these guys. Our diplomat is dead, so let's see if we can get another one. No. It appears not. There we go. Alright, so let's actually just boost up to three stab. We're ahead on admin still. Way ahead on admin. So admin points are expendable right now. We are so filthy rich. It is disgusting. Wait a minute, what? War reparations are 80? Yeah, that doesn't sound right. Oh, maybe it is. Really? Portugal's giving us 50 a month? That's crazy, actually. That sounds like it's not correct. It looks like it is, I don't know. We want a discipline guy? Yikes. There we go. You hate to spend all those mill points, but uh, I'm definitely not going to sit on low legitimacy. Here we go. We're winning sieges over here and everything. So Silesia. We'll separate piece everybody out separately. That way we can take war reps and all that stuff. This war is over. Apparently they're sieging stuff down over here. Kind of funny. Oh, 
All right. Got our discipline guy. Very good. Spain will join now. Bremen will join now. Hmm. So Silesia, need, we need to win this siege before he's going to be willing to peace out. So let's just do that. Need some cannons over here, baby. Do something like that. Private enterprise, free money. Sounds good. No issues from me. Where are those rebels popping? Here they are. Thank you, Poland. Appreciate you. Poland will be... 100 percent it here. Annul treaties with... Um, revoke some cores. Sounds good. So rather than revoking your treaties, let's have you revoke all those cores. Sounds good to me. Let's do it. Let's have you guys do that. Get these guys off these forts. Actually, didn't win the mountain fort, which is hilarious. Oh, you love to see it happen, folks. Look at this. There's heading in getting stack wiped. So good. All right, now you go, Poland. Ongoing battles? Yeah, I don't think so, man. There we go. Once we siege this stuff down, Poland will peace out. There we go. That is a 100% peace deal for Poland. Berg will have forced religion, all your money, and 100% for you. Landshut. Same thing. Um, let's revoke any friendships or anything that you may have. There we go. Silesia. All your money, all that stuff. And Magdeburg. There you go. And Brandenburg. I will take... Now, let's see. Can we full annex him? We can. Probably worth just doing it, because this coalition isn't going to disband. So let's do that. Take all your money. And now, we'll give what we can to Prussia. Pay off your debt. Grant you some provinces, buddy. Cord up a lot of this for him, so it's good. He doesn't have to pay the admin for them. A lot of this is his culture, so this is going to be really good for him. So I'm going to... I want to give him all of this, but I don't think I'm going to be able to. Yeah, sadly. I'll core those two up for him then. He'll have to core his first, though. That's okay. Oh, this, uh, some pretty, pretty bad, um, whatchamacallit, supply over there. There we go. Wonderful tech. Tech, tech, tech. We have a regent, Tomas. Very good. Good, good, good. Porcelain and Messian. Our investors have spent some time studying samples of porcelain. Very good. Base production and the price of Chinaware drops. Very cool. Very good. So let's just see here. Looks like we need to get rid of a couple of buildings here to make room for manufacturing. So you guys need to ditch the farm estate for this. You guys need to ditch the conscription center for this. You guys need to ditch the farm estate for this. You guys need to ditch this for this. Gascony is going to get integrated here next year. All right, so we're gonna try to integrate both of them at the same time. That's obviously the goal. So we'll see how that works. We'll have some Diplo points to spare, but it uh, looks like 
probably going to want to focus mill our Diplo because we're not going to have any Diplo for a long time. Let's get you guys over here and pished. Okay, let's take this war here. Oh, they're in our coalition. These guys are not in our coalition. But we have a truce with them. Right, of course we do. Let's just say, hypothetically, I wanted to seize this land right here. Yeah, okay. I love that that's a mechanic. It's often worth using. Alright, so let's have everybody do siege instead of aggressive. We're not going to scootage them, so we actually have their forces counting for us. People are leaving our coalition, which is good. I would like to attack him, because I have a lot of land that I have won a conquest from him, so let's do that. Let's have you guys come on over here, siege him down. There we go. Frankfurt has left our coalition, very good. Let's do it. Frankfurt to seek better relations or not, don't care. People are leaving our coalition. I love it, man. We're popping off, just doing whatever we want. People are leaving our coalition. Beautiful. Get you guys out of there. Let's actually get on to Munchen. Sure. Let's continue to um, get these guys. So whenever we're done with this war, I will scudge them probably, so I can integrate them uninterrupted. That way we can try to do the same month inter same month annexation. Give me that, and then transfer trade power. Break your friendships with these guys, and that's a good enough for me. These long truces are going to act really, um, you know, cramp their style when it comes to trying to coalition me. Who else is in this war? No, that's it. Cool. Well, let's just come on up here then. Siege that one down. Let's hurry up and get out of this war. Prussia looking good, though. People are losing, still losing the, leaving the coalition. This is good. That's a good sign. It means that they fear me. It means I look powerful. So, we are the number one world power after all, by a bit. Looks like um, Spain is a little complacent by the looks of it. There we go. Have you guys head on over here? Have you guys head on over here. We are going to take everything we have claims on, which is all of this. 63 admin, that's it. That's actually super cheap. Beautiful. And then we'll core these up and we'll give them to Prussia. He's super strong right now. Look at this. No, his morale is really low. He must have a turn down. Land maintenance, yeah. So 1.7, so he's actually 6.81. Discipline is 117. His absolutism has gone down, so that's a bummer. I'm not really sure what happened with that. Same color CB over here, for sure. I actually thought this was my land. Okay, so if I were to integrate him, it's 7... April 1733. So April 33, April th November 38. So what we do is we start this in this process of integrating him. Let's max you out. So October 31. So we just need to wait until this is October 31. And then we click that. And that way we integrate them both at the same time. 
Yeah, our coalition is like just completely dismantling itself. Feels good, man. So we're just trying to... Yeah, I don't think we can do this. I'm pretty sure these two missions are broken. I would like to get over here, touch these lands up. Aggressive expansion. I think you guys are done. I don't think there's any purpose in having you take up a slot anymore. Let's attack these guys. We'll annex Bremen as well, and Hamburg. We'll split it between Prussia and myself. That's fine with me. There you go. Get you guys over here to Bremen. Get you guys... Um, over here. We'll just take as much as we can. Russia will join. I don't think it's necessary. So these guys are not protecting trade like I told them to. Should be steering as much trade our way as we possibly can. We're going to try to full annex Hamburg. I'm not sure if we can. Yeah, we can. He's co-belligerented, so that's really good. Prussia is getting full annexed or full occupied very quickly because there's no forts down there. One fort. Hmm. Get those guys out of there. We have our 60 stacks. Yeah, this is a tough one. There we go. We actually stack wipe them off of that fort. Looks like we might be able to get them off this fort as well. Beautiful. We'll increase the likelihood. Uh, yeah, for sure. I want to go revolutionary. Let's do it. Black news indeed. Peasant regiments. So why did I lose the stability? The last winter was particularly harsh and the spring harvest has been poor so far. Lotharingia's cereal reserves are exhausted and the people face starvation. Grain merchants have exacerbated the situation by hoarding their supplies in the hope that the prices will rise further. Anger in th at the Empress is spreading like wildfires. Agitators remind the people of her recent decision to relax restrictions placed on the grain merchants. Okay. Let's go handle these guys then. So, where were they going to be at? Dijon A. And then Luxembourg, which has a... Does not have a fort on it. So, we're going to have to fight that one. Come on now. Get on to Luxembourg. Economic liberalism is the true future. And I just lost a bunch of my ships. Now that is an F in chat, big time. Wait, where'd my fleet go? What? Where did my fleet go? Oh, here they are. I swear it said they were going to be right there. Okay. Oh no. Oh, come on. Now I. The, it timed out. I forgot to click the button. Well, that's pretty annoying. <laughs> Let's just trade places here. Siege this down. Get a general in here. Preferably one that doesn't suck so bad. Get you guys up there. Easy peasy. Something like this. Very good. These guys can be stuck right there. Just kidding. They can walk across that straight.
So Bremen. Gonna give me this province here. Actually, I have claims on those both. We're about to just say F it and uh take as much aggressive expansion as we possibly can at one time in one war. It is, after all, just a number. Going revolutionary wouldn't be super hard for us, either. We might be able to get military hegemon if we really, really push for it. I think we probably could. This is... Such a drag of a siege, man. Let's get an admiral over there. Blockades are going to be solid. We f captured his flagship. I had a, some comments saying like, oh, you, you, uh, you know, got rid of a, a couple of flagships. Flagships only do anything if they are your flagship. If they are an enemy flagship, they, they contribute nothing. You don't get statistics from them. Or you don't get stats from them. So it's not worth having them. They don't do anything. Uh, ban the publications is fine. Great. Hamburg, full annexation. And then you guys are also going to get fully annexed. Not Curlin. This. Crap. So I'm not super overextended. So I will core this up. And then I'll give all this to Brandenburg. Or to Prussia, rather. That sounds good. Kurland, I just want to peace out. Once we peace him out, we actually can peace out entirely. He's not making any progress on these sieges over there, so it doesn't matter. Come on now. Kurland, you know you don't want to be in this war. I know you just have a feeling that it's not good for you. There we go. Just like that, we have an incredible amount of aggressive expansion. 260 with some people. 270. 260 almost. Yeah, we're all right. <laughs> so, let's give Prussia all that. We're coring that one up. Give him this one since it's already cored. now. I thought they f said they fixed that so you don't click on armies and stuff when you're not trying to. But uh, alas, I still click on them a lot. And then I'll core up Verden. Maybe I will give it all to him. Yeah, I'll probably give it all to him eventually. But that's okay. Um, Once we core up... Where we at here? Magdeburg. Or as uh, my buddy Quaggersol will call it, Mageburg. I love you, Quag. Alright, there we go. Boom, boom, boom. Alright, so these guys are going to be done November 30. These guys will be good done November 31 because I definitely forgot about it, but that's okay. And we're still gaining, which is good. Because we're overextended. It'll go down after we finish up being overextended. Okay, Dijonet and Forez. Center of Revolution will appear in Samoji. All right, so we have revolution. Unfortunately, it didn't really spawn where we wanted it to spawn. But uh, we're going to go revolutionary, but I think we're going to do it in the next episode. So I hope you guys enjoyed, and if you did, show your support, leave a like. Don't forget to subscribe and ding the bell if you want to see our episodes. And uh, there's plenty of ways to support us. All of them will be linked in the description, or you can join the channel as a member, which is kind of like a Twitch subscription. All that is super helpful, and it makes this channel tick. Uh, if you want to see what we do and you want to continue to let the channel thrive, 
Supporting it is the best way to do it if it's within your means. Uh, if there is a community Discord as well. So if you want to check that out, it's going to be linked in the description as well. So that's all I got for you, though. This is Chewy Shoot, and I'll catch you guys later. A very special huge thanks to my top supporter on Patreon, Spartan Omega, as well as the other very generous people, Palmer, Bloodbound, Drunk Binary, Angelic, Jaren Clampett, Martin Dressel, Some Kind of Meme, Corbett Gaming, Blonde Damon, Thomas Jarden, The Bitter Steel, Joseph Catchell, RJ Pilot, Home TV, Disdain, and many, many more. Your continued support is what allows this channel to thrive, and I appreciate you very much.